Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Frosty Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a build uh, at per request of a subscriber of mine. I was only going to do a twenty or a two thousand uh, dollar gaming build for you guys, but per a request of a subscriber of mine, um, I bumped it up to a twenty five hundred dollar gaming build. So if you guys, by the way. All the links for all these products will be in the links in the descriptions down below. Um, it'll be the first links, and then below that, there'll be links for everything that you see behind me as well. Um, that's in every single video, but this video will have the links to every single product that I list um, in this video down below on the first links that you see. So first off, um, I wanted to say thank you guys for everything, all the support on the channel uh, before we get into this build. Um, the Amazon links that I put down there, I know I realize I can put like a PC part picker uh, link to the build and whatnot, but I decide to put the Amazon links because I'm an Amazon affiliate and when you purchase a product, I get a little bit of a kickback of it and it benefits the channel in the future. So I get paid on that a little bit. It's, it's very minimal. It's not very much as what you guys would seem or what you guys would think. It's like 50 bucks a month or something like that. Um, just throwing a ballpark figure out there. But it definitely helps the channel. So it, it goes towards purchasing items and whatnot. So if you guys use the links down below, make sure to bookmark my Amazon link. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the build, guys. So first off for the CPU, we have an Intel Core i7-6700K. It's clocked at 4 gigahertz, 4.2 turbo, 14 nanometer technology, 91 watts. This this uh, CPU is running 374.99 right now, so about three and three quarters. Three 375 gets you the latest CPU from Intel. It's actually most of the parts in here, guys. By the way, is actually the same parts that I use in my build, but my build is running about 3,800 dollars because of all the extras and stuff like that that are in there. And I just upgraded the parts a little bit more than what I'm. This build is going to be. Um, I do have the i7 6700K and twin 980 Ti's running an SLI, and the same motherboard that you guys are going to see. So, if you want the same performance, um, I have pretty much the same solid state and stuff like that. So, if you guys want the same performance, this is a really good build for you guys. You guys are really going to like this one. So, next up, let's move on to the CPU cooler. Since the CPU does not come with its own cooler, that's how the i5s and the i7s are for the uh, 6700 and the 5600 or 5500. That's how they come, they don't come with a cooler. So this is the Corsair H80i GT, 2435 max RPM, phenomenal quality. Um, and that's from the name Corsair. Corsair has always been known for quality. 120 millimeter rad and fan. This is running 86.99 right now. So a really good price on a CPU all in one cooler and it's going to perform really, really well for you. Also the H80i and the H110i and the H100i <clears throat> they all have like a little plug-in that you can run the different colors on the uh, CPU block and stuff like that. You can kind of tweak all the performance and everything how you want it. It's a really, really cool all-in-one cooler if you guys are looking for really good CPU coolers. And at 87 bucks, this really isn't all that bad. So moving on to the motherboard. We have the Asus Z170A. This is a Z170 platform, USB 3.0. You, for the RAM, you can go up to 3400 megahertz on the RAM sticks, and this is only running 181.47 right now. So a Z170 platform motherboard from Asus at 181 bucks, that's an awesome deal, great deal. Uh, so moving on to the RAM, we have Corsair Dominator Platinum. This is running at 2400 megahertz, it's 16 gigabytes of it, so it's going to be four sticks of four gigabytes. DDR4 RAM, and it's running, for the combo package, it's running 109.99 right now. So that's a really good deal on DDR4 RAM. If you guys want to up it to 3000 megahertz or something like that, I think it's 169 or something like that instead of 109. There's not much of a difference between 2400 and 3000 megahertz. It, there's not much of a difference at all. It's very negligible unless they're overclocked and who wants to dabble in that stuff? I mean, nobody. You can overclock your CPU and your graphics cards. Why would you overclock your RAM when it's already running at 2400 megahertz? That's unheard of. That's pretty high. Okay, so moving on to the solid state. We have the Samsung 850 Evo. This is a 120 gigabyte solid state, super fast. The read and write speeds are actually the fastest on the market compared to most other SSDs. And this is only running 68 bucks right now. Can you believe that? A solid 120 gig solid state at 68 bucks. If you wanna to upgrade to the 240 gig, I'm sure they'll have that option on the Amazon link. So when you click on the link, It'll show you like 120, 240, 500, and one terabyte or something like that. I think they even have a two terabyte out there right now. But nobody really needs to go that high unless you want to run all solid states, especially for your um, for your drives and everything like that. 
Um, this is mainly just going to be used for your, uh, what do you call it, your system, your operating system, like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, and maybe a game or two that you want to put on there, maybe a couple games that you want to run really fast. So moving on to the hard drive, we have a Western Digital Black Series, 2 terabyte, 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache. This is running at $109.99 right now. I know the price seems a little bit high, but this is the, the newest series from Western Digital. Uh, Seagate is a little bit behind, and uh, what's the other one? Um, I can never remember the third company. It's not Seagate, it's uh, Crucial or something like that, I'm not sure. But those two companies are running a little bit behind Western Digital as far as coming out with new products. And it's basically the same thing as the old one. It's just updated a little bit. You know, your efficiency is a little bit better. A lot more uh, longevity, life longevity of the product. So moving on to the GPU, we have two 980 Ti's from EVGA. These are GTX 980 Ti's. These are using the ACX 2.0 cooler. And these are also super clocked. They run at six gigabytes each. So since there's two of them, there's going to be a two-way SLI. They're running $649 each. That's a really good price on 980 Ti's. If you really look at the performance uh, boosts and stuff like that, if you slightly overclock these, I'm talking like only 10 to 30 gigahertz or megahertz on the core clock and the memory clock, you'll be running at the same performance of what a Titan X would do. And the Titan X is a little over $1,000. I would rather go with SLI 980 Ti's for a little bit over the price of one Titan X card. So, or you can just run one 980 Ti and use the extra 650 bucks somewhere else. Whatever you want to do, D dabble in it in your own glory and your own time. Um, I just came out with these uh, graphics cards because I figured they would benefit uh, most people for like future proofing and stuff like that. Also paired with the CPU. Like I said, I run the same combo. It's an awesome combo. I would never do anything else. Um, maybe like an AMD Fury X or Nano with a 9590 or something like that, but that's a lot of heat, and I don't like a lot of heat in a small room. But anyways, guys, so for the case, we chose the Cooler Master HAFX. This is an ATX full tower, best airflow in its class, in, and it also has included fans, and you're running at 175 bucks on this case. 175 bucks, I realize this is a little much, but it has the best airflow. So your CPU temps are going to be down. Your uh, GPU temps are going to be lower. You can go with a silent case if you want to, like I did with the H630W or the, the NZXT. Pretty much any NZXT case. The 440, the 440 is a mid tower. I would go with a full tower for a build like this. You want to show off those graphics cards, especially with a side window. Okay, so for the last product, we have the power supply, which is an EVGA Supernova 850 watt. This is an 80 plus gold certified, fully modular power supply. I trust the name EVGA enough to have their power supply and their graphics cards. You're running at, what is it, $119.99 on the power supply right now. That's a really good price. Look for it on sale, guys, because very, very often it drops down to like 99 bucks or 89 bucks or something like that. So keep an eye on it. If you don't want to buy it right away or if you just want to say, screw it, I want to get the whole build. This thing is awesome. I, w I want to game at 199 frames per second on Battlefield 5. <laughs> Whatever. So, guys, that's the build for you guys. It's just under 2,500 bucks. This is not including monitors or keyboard or the operating system or anything like that. I already... I already know that you guys pretty much have all that stuff yourselves. You just want to upgrade your computer or whatnot. Uh, the build and stuff like that is completely universal. You can take whatever parts out you want and just make sure motherboards and CPUs match up. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing you have to have match up and obviously RAM, but uh, DDR3, DDR4. So just choose your parts accordingly. Um, if you want to change out a few parts, you can. If you want to change out the graphics cards for just 980s or 780Ti's or 970s, you can do that. Um, you're not strictly forbidden to buy these products. So um, if you guys want, check out the links down below. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like on it and comment and subscribe on the channel so you guys don't miss anything in the future. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Stay frosty.